What's up, guys? Back again in the garage with yet another video. Uh, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. Thanks for everyone who's been tuning in. Uh, I hit 100 subscribers just a few weeks ago, and it seems like ever since then it's been going up exponentially. So I've been really excited, really motivated to get some more content out there for you guys. Um, in light of that, this is I'm going to also announce a giveaway I'm going to be doing at the end of this video. So please do stick around if you're interested in maybe getting something. Um, other than that, yeah, I think we should get into this. This here is going to be my top five favorite, uh, Harbor Freight tools or items since I did the least favorite last time. And we're going to start out with, uh, these here lights, uh, specifically these two, because I have quite a few other Harbor Freight lights that just aren't quite up to the quality of these two, but, um, this one here, you know, you see a lot about this one online. Everyone seems to love this one. Kind of kind of was an alternative, a cheaper alternative to, uh, and I can't remember the name of that light, but it's swiveled at the base instead of like up here. But anyways, yeah, you know, this one articulates 180 degrees that way, and you can also spin it. It's got two light settings, and then it's got also got a, like a pointer light. On the end there magnetic base pretty reasonably solid it'll hold it on horizontal so that's all you're looking for really um charge time i don't know this one it, i don't it doesn't seem to uh i feel like it should last longer i guess is the only thing i could say on this one but that's enough for this one uh this here is the real star of the show this has become my favorite light the it, it holds the charge much better but i do use it on it's lowest setting because I think it has three settings, but it's so bright that I don't need anything more than that lowest setting. So I think that's why it lasts so long for me. But uh, that one, you know, articulates like that, obviously. Uh, this one actually has a battery life indicator on the back. As you can see, those three lights there. Um, this one's got a much sturdier magnet, I'd say. And just overall, I really like that. The quality of it feels great. So uh, that's going to be my number five item, I guess. I don't know if these are necessarily going to be in order. I really like all five of these items that I'm going to show you. But I figure I'll start with the lights because they're not technically a tool, I guess. Although I consider them one. So anyways, we'll get on to, uh, to the next one. All right, guys. Uh, next thing on the list is going to be their clamps for me. Um... I know a lot of people complain about their clamps, especially this one here. Sorry, I didn't realize I had the PBR in frame there. Uh, that is not a Harbor Freight item. Although I'm sure if they did sell beer, it probably would be PBR or some other cheap shit like that. Uh, anyways, one of the clamps. So this, especially like this style here, I held off from buying for a long time because I had heard a lot of bad stuff about them on how like if you say once, once you got it, uh, tension there if you gave it even one extra little squeeze the whole thing will just snap in half but i'm here to tell you that that's not going to happen either they've uh upgraded the quality of this style clamp or people just don't know what they're talking about because you can squeeze this thing considerably hard i mean look my fingers are getting red there and it's not nothing's wrong with it i also used it to hold down like a shelter in a bad rainstorm to cover up my generator and uh they held up great and they still work. I use them for other things too, obviously. These as well, these are super cheap. You can buy the whole pack of them. And they're surprisingly stiff springed and they hold up well. I mean, I don't know what to say. Clamps are clamps. Uh, got all different styles. And what I what you see here is just one of each style. You know, I have different sizes of each of these styles. Uh, the C-clamps, you're not going to find C-clamps this cheap anywhere else. And let me tell you. They work. They're not, I've never had a problem with any of the C-clamps. So I don't know why people complain about Harbor Freight clamps, but in my opinion, I'm not I'm not spending any more money or wasting any more money on more name brand clamps when they're, they're just holding stuff together at the end of the day. But I would recommend every single style of clamp you see here. Now, that's all I can really speak on, but uh, this one here, it might be confusing. This is like a... 90 degree clamp for uh more for holding like wood together woodworking stuff but 
I've only used that like twice, but definitely comes in handy. So that would be my number four is the clamps, guys. And I also got to tell you, whatever bad stuff you hear about them, it's not true. All right, on to number three. Um, grabbed a few samples out for you guys, but that's going to be their hammers. Uh, why? Number one, all their hammers, to my knowledge, come with a lifetime warranty, even the dead blows, which, you know, people can beat those up pretty fast, but, I mean, they hold up well enough, and they're lifetime warrantied, so say you do blow the cap completely out, you just go ahead and uh, walk in there and get a new one. And you're not going to find a dead blow that cheap anywhere else, plain and simple. It's not like they're unwieldy or anything. I mean, they're comfortable enough in the hand. Same with the mallets. Uh, these two are probably my most used, beat up, you know, hammers that I have of theirs. But same goes for this. This whole set of uh, ball peen hammers, I think it comes in a set of like five. I have them all. It's like 17 bucks or something on sale. Normally like 20 bucks. I don't know. It's... It's ridiculous, and they're lifetime warranted. How, how are you gonna, how are you gonna beat that? And it's a hammer. You're you're hitting stuff with it. You're not. You don't need. I mean, I guess if the main thing you do is use a specific type of hammer all day every day, maybe try and find the most comfortable feeling one in your hand, and and what in the weight and all that. But when I'm grabbing a hammer, the last thing I care about is the hammer. You know, <laughs> I, I, what I'm going for is to knock whatever I'm, I'm gonna hit it with or hit with it out. So. It, if it works, it works. It's a hammer to me. So that's got to be my number uh, My number three is their hammers because, like I said, they're all lifetime warranty. Even the stuff that, I mean, really is consumable, like a dead blow or a rubber mallet, still lifetime warranty. I got different weights and sizes of all these and whatnot, but I just pulled out a couple for you guys. Uh, so, yeah, I'd recommend the hammers as uh, definitely one of my top five. Another note, uh, just so everyone doesn't want to call me like a Harbor Freight fanboy and whatnot, I do own some nicer hammers, I guess you could say, you know, gotta have the snap on, the dead blow ball peen, and yeah, I do love this hammer, and yeah, it's, it's a great hammer, feels great in the hand, but I can tell you what it doesn't feel like, it certainly doesn't feel like $100 more value than this hammer right here and that's how much more i paid for it so that should tell you something uh i i do like this hammer i do try and use it as often as possible just because i spent so much damn money on it for no reason that uh try and get my use out of it but in reality like that's probably the dumbest tool purchase i've ever made why would you spend that much extra money on hammers? It's not that much more comfortable. I'm telling you, it's not. And uh, <clears throat> it doesn't yield that much better results. Other than I do like that it's got the metal caps, but it's dead blow. I mean, that that's nice, but you get the drift. All right, guys. Uh, my number two uh, favorite tool from Harbor Freight is going to be their Doyle line of pliers. As you can see here, I've got damn near the entire line. Uh, Going to also be an honorable mention to the Quinn players. This is the only set of Quinn players I own, but they don't make the style in Doyle. And they seem to be very close in quality standard to the Doyles. A little more flex to the handles, but they're a longer pair. And uh, they're cheaper. I'm sure they're not quite the quality, but... Um, for the specialty one, you know, I'd recommend this. Anyways, the main, main thing here is the Doyles and, uh, players are kind of my thing. I don't know if you guys have seen my toolbox tour, but I have way more players than anyone would ever need. Uh, I just like to collect players. I don't know why. Always have liked them since, uh, since I started using tools because they were one of the main things I used when I first started working, especially like this pair of channel locks. Um, for comparison's sake, uh, honestly, I don't see, you know, there's probably difference in, and maybe like the steel quality, but overall finish quality, feel, looks like these things are, are like clones of channel lock and they're cheaper, obviously 
Uh, they're made in Taiwan, so they're not like Chinese junk. I haven't had a single problem or flaw with any single pair of these. I haven't seen like no misaligned teeth or uh, or they won't close entirely or any other problem you'll find with uh, some of the, like the Pittsburgh players and stuff. Just bad uh, quality control. Um, you, that, that just doesn't happen with the Doyles. And I've had a few of them for a couple years now. And they're still holding up finish wise too. They're not rusting on me. Although I do use a like a rust proof coating on all my tools. Because I do live in Michigan. Um, but they're holding up better than, than others. And the feel in the hands guys. I got to tell you they're just... They feel really solid. They feel exactly like good old uh, Made in USA channel lock quality. You know, they're right on par with that, in my opinion. And channel locks have always been my favorite brand. I know a lot of people like Knipex. I've used them. Don't personally own any, but that's because I've always been like a channel lock lover. And I have a lot more channel lock too, but I this is but based on Harbor Freight here. So I got my Doyles out. Um... I had another comparison of just some Fujia players that I just picked up recently. Um, really good quality players as well. But I put, I, I'm telling you guys, the Doyle players, and you'll hear this repeated online in other people's videos and, and on forums and whatnot. Everyone seems to agree that the Doyle players are definitely high quality. And uh, you're not going to find players at that quality level anywhere near that price. So that's going to be my number two. All right, guys, uh, so my number one is going to be the Pittsburgh Pro Ratchets. Uh, I just think you cannot beat these for the money. You, you just can't. Um, for comparison's sake, I busted out my Snap-on. Um, this is definitely my number one ratchet, but honestly, nowadays, it's tied with this one here, the Pittsburgh Pro uh, Swivel Head 3 8 I just I like the swivel head more than a standard flex head to be honest. I use this more than my snap on now, but uh, yeah, now yeah, snap on ratchets. I'm not gonna make that comparison. You know, these Pittsburgh pros are obviously not as good as snap on ratchets. But do I think they're good? Yeah, I do. Especially for the price. Like if I didn't have the snap on ratchet, I would this this will do everything that one will and. And I've never had any of these fail on me, um, but, you know, they're lifetime warranted. Another thing is, especially with the uh, the Pittsburgh Pro Ratchets, is this is only like a handful of them. I've got like damn near the entire collection because they're so cheap like this. I'll probably never use this. They're so cheap, but you can get every every style, every variety of ratchet for so cheap. And then when you do need it for that one situation you got it for, for cheap as hell, you know? Um, <clears throat> you know, my most used ones are definitely these swivel heads. And then I just picked up this one recently because I'd like to have this in, in like snap on or something. This is the big, I think it's 18 inch half, half inch drive flex head. Call it my boom stick. Don't even need a breaker bar anymore. Uh, just picked this up recently. Wanted to get the snap on one like I got in the three eights here, but once again, I mean, this is like 30 bucks. Use the coupon for 25 bucks or drop, I don't know, 200, 250 bucks on it from Snap on. So I'm not a pro. So, uh, you know what I did. But, anyways, the ratchets, buy them all because they're lifetime warranted. And then you just never know which one you're going to need for a specific situation. Uh, th these got to be by far my favorite Harbor Freight tool offering. I've got, like I said, damn near the whole lineup of them i just pulled out these handful to show you like the differences you know like the composite ones which are obviously nice for working on uh batteries or electrical stuff so you don't kill yourself um and then the swivels the flex head this articulating head or whatever you call it they got it all so uh, i haven't had a problem i haven't had a single one break on me um i know some people complain about the flex heads of them getting too loose and floppy but i mean if it got that bad and you couldn't tighten it up with the screw then go uh go warranty it out get another one so 
Definitely, definitely recommend every single one of the Pittsburgh Pro Ratchets, but not the baseline Pittsburgh. So that's going to be my number one, guys. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my top five Harbor Freight picks there. Uh, let me know down in the comments whether you agree, disagree, or whatever input you have on it. Uh, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. And I guess now it's about time to announce the giveaway, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. I'm going to be doing a giveaway at 250 subscribers. Uh, we're at 150 now, and it only took me like a couple weeks to get there from 100, so I'm thinking we're only a couple weeks out. Um, and I'll give you a hint. Uh, it already, the giveaway item is going to be something that made an appearance earlier in this video. So, anyways, uh, if you haven't already, like, comment, share, subscribe. Please do, because that's the only way you're going to be able to get in on this giveaway. And uh, I do appreciate everyone who's been been watching and staying tuned so i guess uh without further ado we'll we'll mention it's this here light um not this one specifically i'm gonna get a brand new one obviously but this model of light i really like this light it's become my favorite light hands down uh anyone who receives it is gonna love it and who can't use another light you know no one ever has too many lights so I think that's a good first giveaway to do. I'll be doing more throughout the subscriber count growing and whatnot. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please stay tuned for when I hit the 250 subscriber mark, uh, that video, to get in on the giveaway. And if you haven't already, please uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever you guys want to do down there. And I'll see you on the next video.